when Christian had a hara here. You're in my house. You're in my actual house. I don't know if I've ever shown my house. Not in a very long time. So I'm going to be going to FYE and stuff up here in a little bit. But I did want to show you guys a couple VHS tapes I got today. I got Cape Fear. I also got Misery. Uh, that's another VHS right there. Uh, not horror, but I'll show you. Uh, back to school, Rodney Dangerfield. And last but not least, the beautiful and lovely scream so yeah i'm gonna be uh i'm gonna be running by yeah fye and stuff today so let's go in the horror room <laughs> all right here we go oh we... all right so check this out i got this light bulb how cool is that so yeah the horror room like it's moody like I i'll have to take the light bulb out it doesn't get really bright i'll take the light bulb out when it's not really when I'm just chilling in here and I want to watch movies or if I got a film I'll put the bright light bulb in but when I'm just chilling like look at that that is so cool got it at five below if anybody's interested in it then it was no more than five dollars so yeah so we're gonna get in the car soon and we're gonna go hard movie shopping see what's see what FYE's got because they'll surprise you so here we go what's up guys I'm bringing y'all into my bedroom I don't know if I've ever shown this I want to show you I got a uh, Bill Mosley signed Part 2 laser disc. I've got a Doug Bradley signed Part 3 laser disc. Uh, original Return of the Living Dead soundtrack, which is just lovely. And I've also got a Psycho 2 soundtrack. So yeah, and then I've also got House in my master bedroom. Look at that, Japanese Jaws shirts. <coughs> no, usually in the back. Pancake socks. Really. Jaws socks. Oh, yeah. Alright, ladies and germs. Remember I saw these last time. Hellraiser Inferno shirt. Kind of cool. Let's look at some blue res. Y'all bear with me as I look through these blue rays. That's kind of cool. They're still trying to do stuff with Friday the 13th. All that knocked out. That way we still make room back here. Yeah, that's probably what we The gate. Got that. This is a good movie, but they want way too much for that. But Brighter, I mean, Beyond Reanimator is really good. There's this Puppet Master. If you're an Arrow fan, down there. Just dropped a video on this, y'all. Hopefully, y'all watched it and enjoyed it. Mostly looking for Arrow or something like that. Howling Blu ray, I've got that. The hills have eyes. Got that. Hereditary, fabulous movie. We have this? Yeah, I've got, I've got that. Season of the Witch. You can get these still. Let's just see what's in the Halloween ones. I've got that brain damage. I was watching that this morning, actually. Oh boy, that's a lot of Chucky. Now, these are old, Sydney. Can't believe they still got these. It's a good set, too. That was a uh, good yeah. individual releases. Uh, we made a I, I, I on it, that's a good one too. I've got that. I've got the craft. You can still get the uh, Killer Clowns Arrow video. <coughs> Alright, that's $17.99.
and I've never seen this movie, <laughs> Shaun of the Dead. So I think I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get Shaun of the Dead. Do not watch this movie. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, Texas Chainsaw, FYE. Oh my goodness. Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. I'll have to use my gift card. I'll get it. It's expensive, but I got a gift card. Why not? Pizza will be mad if I pass up on it. Sleepwalkers. It's a good one. I was telling everybody on video I haven't seen Shaun of the Dead, and they're probably like, Christian. I know. So I'm excited to see Shaun of the Dead. I keep I keep passing up on that because I don't need it, but I like it. I'm not going to get it, but still, the steel bucks are so good. I got the next generation here. Oh my god, so there's a movie in theaters right now called The Curse of La Llorona, but this is the La Llorona Curse. So somebody explain that to me. This is that maniac I was telling y'all about. This, this is phenomenal, phenomenal movie. Einstein and Taste the Blood of Dracula, $4. That looks pretty cool. Those are old school movies. You know, the, the, it, uh, that Guillermo del Toro guy, I mean, he's starting to really kind of grow on me, but... Uh, I don't know if I would like Crimson Peak based on the trailer. It kind of looks a little too artsy for me, but still a really, really cool Arrow video set for it. Limited Phantasm Steelbook, if anybody's interested in those. Got in this Pennywise talking figure, but I can't get him to talk. I was trying to, because like I can't see what his button is. The button don't work on it right now or something. Yeah, I'm sure you can get that cheaper on the internet if you want it. But if you guys like the way that looks, go ahead and get it. It's a new talking figure. Alright, Best Buy. Looking at the old movies here. Cliffhanger. Oh, uh, yeah. There's Dick Tracy. Look at that, Sydney. God, this is old. Halloween 2. I have, guys, I have this on DVD, Scream Factory. And then I've got the Halloween 2 Steelbook. But that's cool. That's just random to see that there. This is 2012. Wow. Really cool. Terminator. Terminator. I was going to say 2. I'm so used to everything being Terminator 2. That you guys, you, you will find Scream Factory at uh, Best Buy every now and again, which is pretty interesting. I think they're making another Ghostbusters with like deleted scenes coming out. Uh, saw that on a bloody disgusting post. 4K section. Main. I don't even see any of the figures anymore they used to have. Maybe they moved those to a different section. Jurassic Park shirt. I did want to show this because I thought it looked cool. They have a 4K of the 1992 Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula. That's really cool. Guys, they still got the Spirit Halloween sign up where I live. All right, so it wasn't a, I didn't get much, but I got some good stuff. Uh, I got Silent Night, Deadly Night, part two, which is uh, fun. Pizzile loves this movie. I think he's actually buddies now with Eric Freeman. So I've seen this one time on like a whole DVD but I don't remember, I don't remember much of it, so, uh, Shaun of the Dead, it's funny because I realized I'd never seen this movie, and, uh, I think I've got a good copy of this, this, this still book looks really good, so, um, just, I never saw it, I don't know why I never saw it, so, yeah, this is a still book I got from FYE, and, um, for those of you that are still with me, I, I want to take a few minutes, because I never made a video about it, and I really meant to, but I I'm so busy with making my top five lists and everything else that I just... I'm worn out and I don't think to do it. I want to talk about Child's Play for a minute. Um, people are, are on two sides of the fence, you know, uh, against it and not against it. Here, here's where I'm at, and you guys let me know if you are, if you're in agreement, if you agree with me or not. Where I'm at is, I'm never one to just say, let's remake something, let's remake this, let's remake that. But, you know, here, here's the deal. Don Mancini is arguably running the Child's Play franchise uh, 
uh, the Universal Child's Play franchise, the original franchise. And um, I just don't like where he's steering the ship. I mean, I really don't. Um, you know, he, he got back on track with, I believe it was Curse of Chucky. Uh, you know, Seed of Chucky was just... I don't know what you want to call it. I, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not going to... If there's fans out there for the movie, absolutely fabulous. I'm not a fan of it. It doesn't do anything for me. I love Curse of Chucky. Called the Chucky. Uh, you know, first watching it, it was a beautifully shot movie. My, Mancini's really good at directing films now. Like, he has a good eye for horror, but he's lost me. I mean, he just kind of lost me because now Chucky can take over whatever. And then I listened to the Postmortem podcast with Mick Garris, and Don Mancini is like, if you, like, if he's gonna bring back characters like Glenn, I mean, that's what he said, not me. He's bringing back Glenn in the show, and it's not gonna be, it's gonna be silly, I think. So, I'm excited for a fresh perspective, period. So, um, I'm, I'm down with the, with, I'm down to check out the, the remake, the reboot, whatever you wanna call it. Um, as far as Mark Hamill goes, um, you know, apparently, I, I wasn't, I'm not really into cartoons, especially, you know, uh, I think it was Batman, he would play the Joker, or voice the Joker in Batman, and everybody's like, oh, the dude's a fantastic voice actor, and uh, that's great, you know, where I was coming from, from my excitement was, well, Mark Hamill's a genuine horror movie fan, you can find him in low-budget horror movies like Body Bags, and, and he was in Sleepwalkers as a cop, as like a small role. Like, I don't even know if he was, I don't even know if he was credited in Sleepwalkers, but what I like about Mark Hamill is he's a genuine horror movie fan, so, um, I mean, look, if, if, if anybody else has to voice Chucky, I mean, who else would do it besides Mark Hamill that we would all be okay with? And it seems like a lot of people are, are happy about that, which is great. Um, now, I'm not saying don't go watch the television show. Um, but if I had to bet money, I, I think it's going to lose you, or lose the, the fans after about four or five episodes. Um, and so, that's just where I'm at. I'll give it a shot. I give everything a shot once. I, I don't knock it till I try it. But I'm ready for the remake. I'm excited for a fresh perspective. And I think the movie looks good. It's an animatronic doll. So, I don't know. I think it's going to be good. City, are you ready for the remake, Chucky, or what? Yeah. So, yeah. That, that's where I'm at, guys. So... A fun little Saturday. Let's get let's just get out. Maybe I can take you guys out with me more often. Um, I didn't get much, but as you can see, they had that talk in Pennywise, which was gorgeous. It looked fantastic. But God, it's a hundred bucks at FYA. So uh, obviously, if you guys want that, Amazon it. And um, so yeah. So um, next time I go to FYA, I'll take you guys again with me. But for now, this is Christian Hanohar. We'll see you guys later.